For this problem, we want to solve for x in the equation, the log base 2 of negative x equals 2 minus the log base 2 of x plus 8. First, we want to get all the logs onto one side. So we're going to add the log base 2 of x plus 8 to get the log base 2 of negative x plus the log base 2 of x plus 8 equals 2. Now we can use the product property to combine the logs. This gets us the log base 2 of negative x times x plus 8 equals 2. Now we can use this next property to remove the log. In this equation, b equals 2 and y equals 2. So the equation becomes negative x times x plus 8 equals 2 squared. If we multiply this out, we get negative x squared minus 8x equals 4. To solve for x, we want the left side of the equation to be equal to 0. So we're going to add x squared plus 8x to both sides of the equation to get 0 equals x squared plus 8x plus 4. The right side of the equation can't factor out, so we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve for x. For this equation, a equals 1, b equals 8, and c equals 4. So we get x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 all over 2 times 1. This becomes x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 48 over 2. The radical can be simplified because 48 equals 16 times 3 and the square root of 16 is 4. So we get x equals negative 8 plus or minus 4 times the square root of 3 over 2. If we divide the numerator by 2, we get x equals negative 4 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3. So x equals negative 4 plus 2 times the square root of 3 or negative 4 minus 2 times the square root of 3. If we plug these answers into the original equation, we get positive logs. So this is the final answer.